Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Consider this figure of a trapezium. You know that in a trapezium only one pair of opposite sides are parallel. Then let us see how we will find the area of this trapezium. Let us suppose that length of its base is A and its height is H. From the figure we can see that we can divide this trapezium into one square or maybe a rectangle depending on the trapezium and two triangles. Let us give names to each vertex say A, B, C, D, E and F. Now we know that area of ABCD trapezium will be equal to area of triangle ADE plus area of triangle BCF plus area of rectangle DC FE Let us denote AE by C See the length is C The length from E to F is B and length from F to B B equal to D We know that C plus B plus D will be equal to A then our area will be equal to area of ADE is equal to half into C into H that is half CH plus area of triangle BCF will be half D into H plus area of the rectangle will be B into H let us solve this further. This is equal to, let's take the LCM. We will have CH plus DH plus 2 times BH. On taking out H by 2 common, we are left with C plus D plus 2B which is equal to h by 2 into a plus b. How we are getting a plus b? We have c plus d plus 1b we are including here. So c plus d plus b we know that is equal to a and one of the b's is left. Hence we have that area of the trapezium whose height is h and length of opposite sides is A and B is H by 2 into A plus B. Let us consider a quadrilateral. We know that quadrilateral is any four-sided enclosed figure. Let us name it A, B, C and D. Then we can see that this general quadrilateral can be split into two triangles by drawing one of its diagonal. Say we draw a diagonal AC. Now we have two triangles ABC and ADC. 
then area of ABCD is equal to area of triangle ABC plus area of triangle ADC let us draw perpendicular from D and B on AC and let their lengths be H1 and H2 then area of ABCD will be equal to half into base is AC into height H2 plus half into AC into H1 which is equal to half into AC common in brackets H1 plus H2 if AC is equal to D then we have that area of quadrilateral ABCD is equal to half into D into H1 plus H2 now this is the formula which will, will be used to calculate the area of a quadrilateral when we know one of the diagonals and length of the perpendiculars on the diagonal let us consider a rhombus we know that in a rhombus adjacent sides are equal and the diagonals are the perpendicular bisectors which means that diagonals will be perpendicular to each other and they will bisect each other that means this portion will be equal to this portion and this will be equal to this let us name it A B C D and say O is the point of intersection now let us try to calculate the area of a rhombus then area of ABCD can be equal to area of the triangle ABC plus ADC which is equal to half into AC into OB plus half into AC into OD so now let us take out half and AC common we are left with OD plus OB which is equal to half into AC into BD since OD plus OB will make BD let us denote AC by D1 and BD by D2 then area of the rhombus is half into D1 into D2 or in other words we can say that area of a rhombus is half the product of its diagonals.